Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody. Or Xcode, how's it going today? Hopefully everybody watching this video is having yourself a snazzy day. Let me know in the comments down below where you're watching the video from, inside or outside of the United States. I always love to know. On today's video, I have a story about getting caught by the cops. This was one of like the times where they caught us red-handed, like they caught us in the act. There was no getting out of it. It turned out kind of funny. And before I get into the story, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome, top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the United States. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products, such as outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, even some live oysters if you're into that. And it's all based on a preference quiz that you fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but only costs you a fraction of the value. And you can preview the box before it ships. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you, and before it ships, you'll get a preview of what's to come inside the box and from there you can decide if you want to keep it or swap it for a different box or just skip the month entirely for no charge you only pay for what you want two of the boxes that i was sent to try are, are the fillet and the scorch the fillet has two kitchen knives an eight inch knife and an almost four inch knife that are ridiculously sharp cryo tempered japanese steel here's some b-roll of me cutting up a tomato making myself a turkey sandwich these are definitely the best knives I've ever owned. It cut right through the paper towel when I was drying it off. I gotta be really careful with it. And the Scorch Pack, a hot sauce lineup for every kind of spice lover. They got some crazy hot spices in here. I myself tried the Heartbeat hot sauce. I put a little uh, on top of the turkey sandwich. It was so good, man. Gave me a little sweat going on. It has a whole bunch of really great ingredients. And this one has Trinidad scorpion peppers. My first time ever trying anything hotter than a hot and it was actually really good. If you guys would like to check out Bespoke Post and get 20% off your first box of awesome, go to bespokepost.com slash Xcode 20 or use Xcode 20 at checkout for 20% off. That's bespokepost.com slash Xcode 20 or you can just use code Xcode 20 for 20% off your first order. Huge thank you to Bespoke Post for sponsoring a portion of this video. So this story took place back when I was either a sophomore or a junior in high school so maybe like 16 17 years old and it was a period of time where actually i mean this was like most days honestly where you'd get to school on the bus you'd leave school and then you go partake all right you get that sacred skunk anywhere you could find it all right there'd always be one kid over at this spot right here i'll show you a picture of what it looked like i have an entire vlog here if you guys want like an in-depth what the across the street spot was it was just uh cops caught me here i think that was the title so it was like 7 30 in the morning everybody's super tired best time you know just go get blasted and usually on these days where i'd go and get blasted i'd usually skip first period because i know i've mentioned in a, a bunch of videos that like i never liked going to school like category seven blasted i try to wait for it to die down a little bit stroll in get the bacon egg and cheese or the sauces egg and cheese because they weren't that bad all right it was worth getting okay it wasn't it wasn't like i'd pay for it at a restaurant but it was worth getting all right and listen i think i had the reduced lunch or something so you know i got them for like 40 cents so i mosey my way across the street and there is an absurd amount of people over there like more than normal and the one group of people that I realized that were there was like a bunch of like freshmen, like a bunch of young kids blowing up the spot, smoking cigs, like direct view with across the street. Like you, you kind of had to be low key about it. If you just kind of had like a herd of people over there, the security guard with the golf cart driving around the school would, you know, notify the front office that there's a bunch of people skipping school. And then he'd literally hop the curb with the golf cart, come over there and talk to us like, get back to class, guys. What are you doing? Or give us the classic, hey, what are you doing? So I was immediately a little bit sketched out, but like there was nothing stopping me from that morning sig. There was just nothing that could stop me. I was going to do it regardless of what they were thinking or saying. And listen, when the when the opportunity presents itself, in front of you, in front of your very eyes, that a bunch of freshmen that had just sketchily bought 
a little little bag and they're just like all right dude where, where are we gonna go smoke this how, how do we even do this man i'm like all right listen i got the tutorial for you you got a soda can and one of them pulls out a little can and i'm like listen i'll show you how to do this but you gotta you gotta get me and my friends nice and baked all right they're like uh okay okay <laughs> like all scared and stuff dude so we walk like not even 15 feet down the path this was the original problem this was the original issue here so we walk like 15 feet down the path and i i'm like showing them how to you know you scrunch the middle of the can in poke some holes make a carb hole it's basically like a makeshift pipe would i ever recommend this to you absolutely not because i didn't know at the time i can't tell you how many times that i've used one of these things for this activity but there's a layer of plastic and all cans so when you're you know the blue smoke and the throat feeling in the back of your back of your throat dude the harsh feeling that's because you're smoking through plastic and paint not a good idea make an apple pipe look it up it's very easy anyways i make the little tinny that's what we used to call them the tinnies and he pulls out this like sad looking bag dude just sad it looks like brown <laughs> and he's like packing half of it and i'm like just a little bit more just a little bit more we got a lot of people here just a little bit more so he packs like a little bit more and it's going around and it is a damn miracle the amount of times that i smoked with people that i never got herpes dude i think it's like one in three people have it miracle so i have to say i have to say it was that creeper it was that creeper kush all right it was that creeper like you don't expect it to hit you but it hits you like a train all right i was sitting there having a good time dude smoking my cig getting the buzz effect dude the the one two combo 7 30 in the morning and i think there might have been like two three hits left and all of the freshmen started to get really sketched out like they got like oh my god dude we gotta go back we gotta go to school now like they're stony baloney and like oh my gosh how are we gonna make it back without getting caught by the security guard and i'm like listen dude listen the buses are still arriving you're fine just walk across there act like you're just getting to school you are get away with it i do it almost every day it's okay and they're like uh, uh okay man All right, okay cool cool and then the person who purchased this sacred skunk He's just like, oh, what am I going to do with this, dude? They're, they're going to search us when we go back, and I can't have this on me, man. I, I, I'm trying to go to college, and I'm like, listen, listen, I'll take it off your hands, all right? I'll take it off your hands right now. She's just like, oh, okay, dude, okay, give me like 10 bucks later, and I'm like, totally. That's exactly what I'll do. Scheming in my mind, I'm like, I'm totally not going to give this kid 10 bucks. He's never even going to remember who I am. He's so blasted. So I acquired the sacred skunk, the, the remains of the sacred skunk. I love calling it that, honestly. I really do. So all the freshmen gather in a herd and just like dip out. And honestly, they had the right idea. They were the only ones that got away with this situation. They left before the, the sh winds rolled in. Because I'm looking down at this bag and I'm like, you know what, dude? They had the right idea. You know, we don't want to go back to school with this in our pocket because at this point, it's not, for, you know, the first period has begun. There's no more buses rolling in, dropping kids off. Like, this is when school has started. And if you go across the street, especially if they think you left school and then came back to the school, that's when they're like, oh, we got policy. We got to empty your pockets. What do you got? You know, one of those situations. So I'm thinking, all right, let's just blast through the rest of the bag right now. So we get the tinny that we, someone threw and just littered on the side of the path. We pick it up, brush it off, dude, a bunch of dirt and leaves on it just to make it even better, you know, give it some more terps, right? And, and to make it even sketchier, like I said, this is when school already started. Another group of kids came over here, lighting six up like, oh, oh shit, what are you guys doing over there, dude? Can I get a hit? Like one of those situations. And we're like, I guess. I mean, we just got all this stuff for free. <laughs> so I said it in the beginning, but we're like 15 feet down the path, not far enough at all. We had like a couple different spots on this path to go and blaze that were way more secure than this. Like there's no way that like, even if the security guard rolled up with his golf cart, it's way down the path and he wouldn't have been able to find us. Like we had our little side spots in the trees and like it just in the woods, basically. One by this really cool like creek that I dropped my phone in one time and I was so blasted that I was just like and my friend's like dude pick it up like what are you doing and I'm like yeah you, I probably should it died before we got back to school so we're at this like insanely sketchy spot like not even a hundred feet from the school blasting through this tinny just completely I poured the whole rest of the bag on the tinny and we're just 
bringing it around town. And I remember the last person to take the last hit because no one wants the last hit of a tinny, okay? That's where the extra blue smoke comes out of. That's where, you know, it's a little ashy at the bottom. It doesn't taste good. It tastes like old soda because I think this dude just grabbed a can out of his backpack or something. This wasn't a fresh can. This was not an Arizona iced tea freshly drank. This was some old ass Coca-Cola sticky can action. And this one girl has it in her hand and she's like, you know, trying to get the last, the last hit. And who walks up behind us? A police officer. She's, she's got the, she's got the hands on the hip look, you know, walking up like, what do we got going on here, guys? I, I smell the skunk in the air. Who's got it? My heart starts racing. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, the stony baloney is, tw is 20 xing in my mind. I'm like, how am I going to stay sober right now enough to talk my way out of this? because I was the only person there that was bold enough to even remotely speak to a police officer in this situation. So just think about this. It's me, maybe six other kids in a circle. The cop walks up and then, listen, it's like a, it's like a freaking movie, dude. Three other cops were up on the hill watching us blaze the entire time the entire time like as soon as the freshman left these cops showed up because probably one of the neighbors called or something because this was right next to a neighborhood that would not like us there people would always litter and just make the place look like trash so there was three cops like on surveillance watching exactly what we were doing waiting for the perfect moment to swoop in like an eagle and get us in trouble so i thought it was chill when the first cop walked up because i'm like okay i can pull a ricky from trailer park boys and get us out of this you know we're just getting to school we were just smoking cigs we're gonna go back right now no 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 because i started to say that everybody in the group is quiet as hell super baked they don't know what to do and i'm the only one that's gained the confidence to just be like yeah, we're all just smoking a cigarette. We're going to go back to school trying so hard, so hard not to have that look on my face of guilty, but I can just feel it in my bones. I'm shaking, literally shaking. I don't think there's one time I can remember talking to a cop while I was baked or my legs weren't like shaking like jello. And those three cops came down like an eagle leaving its nest. They came down and just walked right up to the tinny because the, the girl who had it in her hand just kind of like threw it to the side like in the bushes seeing you know that was the only thing they could she could think to do they were watching the entire thing they come down walk right up to the tinny i was like oh so you guys weren't blazing what is this then huh it, it still was hot you know, it still had, still had some warmth to it. Maybe a little residual coming out. And then in my mind, I'm like, there's a couple points in my life where like this situation unfolded and then I just turn into Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. That's the second reference I've made in this video. You should go watch that show. It's a great show. I put two and two together in my mind and I'm like, oh, that was the freshman that just left, man. They were being all sketchy and, and blazing. We were just smoking cigarettes. And they look at us. They, <laughs> they look at each other, the cops. They just start laughing like, we were watching you the whole time. We were just right up on that hill looking down watching you. Like, there's no getting out of this. Like, we know exactly what you were doing. And everybody's looking at each other in the group like, huh. like just completely silent. I was the only one that was trying to talk. And they kept like trying to talk to other people. And I just answer for them. I'd be like, no, we were just here smoking cigs. Like, we weren't here doing anything else. Like, we're just trying to get back to class, man. That's all we want to do. Everybody is so blasted, man. Like, th their eyes are just done. Like, it just, it, it looks like we just came out of, like, the videos where the, the, the military training where they put you in, like, the the tear gas room and everybody's coming out like, ah, you know, like, just freaking out like that. It really, it just didn't look good at all. And then the next part of this kind of confused me because what I was expecting there was all right everybody empty your pockets right here but they were like okay we're bringing you back to school to the principal's office so I'm thinking like okay like I, I don't I don't understand this like every time I've been in this situation they're just like all right who's got it empty your pockets but we were in too big of a group that they couldn't single someone out so that worked out for us and you got to remember like nobody had anything on us except the tinny and they couldn't really, you know, pin that on anybody in specific because they saw like someone threw it, but they were in the back of the group. So I don't think they were too sure of who threw that. All right. If, I mean, if anything, it would just be littering at that point. I don't know if it would count as paraphernalia, but anyways, 
So they escort us the walk of shame back to the principal's office. There's there's people like looking through the the classroom windows like, oh my gosh, dude, the cops, they're, they're bringing people back. They all, they set us all down. I think it was the vice principal's office. And the person behind the desk, like she'd always say this whenever we walk in and some one of us had weed on us. It was like, okay, some one of you smells like skunk. And I'm thinking to myself, like, wait a minute, none of us have anything on us. Like what's going on? And then my heart drops. I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. I haven't even attempted to empty my pockets. Like, you know, give it, give myself the pat down. I'm looking all over. I'm wearing the cringy cargo shorts from 2013. Listen, man, I, I loved cargo shorts. I don't care what anybody says, dude. Most convenient, comfortable pair of shorts on the market. All right. I know that I know they have absolutely 0% aesthetic, but listen, I'd probably still wear them today. But anyways, anyways, I'm looking through all my cargo pockets and then I hit something that made my heart drop below my feet it's like it's on the floor i'm in cardiac arrest i feel a little dime bag i feel a little bag with you know just a couple crumbs and one bud in it i'm sitting there like oh my god this is it dude this is this is the day that i'm gonna get arrested like this is it nobody else had anything on them so i was the only person that was about to get in trouble they bring them one by one in they'd always save me for last because i'd always be getting in trouble everybody's gone except me it's still smelling in the room so obviously they don't even need to ask me if i have anything on me of course i do right of course so they bring me in there and that attitude switched dude that attitude switched they're just like all right so we searched everybody couldn't find anything we saw you guys blazing so empty your pockets and i'm like i just don't know about that one chief i just don't know if that's gonna go down like i don't consent to any searches that was my quote that was my, that was the one liner right there i don't i don't consent to any searches and they're just like, you don't have to. You're at school. You don't have those rights. And I'm like, listen, you can't touch me, okay? You can't make me do anything, so I'm going to just head out, okay? If you're not going to let me go to class, I'm going to just head out. I walked out of the school. They were furious, dude, furious. Their faces, when I said those words, would get 20 times more red than whatever the hell I've got going on on my face right here. Listen. I don't know what it is all right still haven't gone to the doctor's office regardless their face was beat red it was just just the utter shock on their face like what you're not gonna follow the rules so i walked up so i walked out of the school went across the street started smoking a cig and who came from their house dude one of my best friends in high school she came out and she was like oh you want to smoke a cig before i go to school because she was i think she was either a junior or a senior at the time and she didn't have to go in first period so this is when she was like just getting to school and i'm like yeah i'm a little freaked out right now the school is probably going to be looking for me so do you want to walk down the path and just you know smoke a cig or something she's like yeah absolutely let's go let's go for a little adventure so we're walking all the way down the path, way past like, you know, the spots that we used to blaze at. It's just this path that leads from the school, like a bike path that leads all the way to this really cool park. We're maybe like halfway, halfway there. And I'm smoking my cig and, you know, every, every you know, my paranoid ass, I'm still kind of blasted. I, I look back, I look forward, I look back and I'm like, oh shit, wait, look behind us. Who, what do you think those, who do you think that is? And Every, we both look back all super sketchy and it just to me i remember I always remember this looking back it was just like two shadowy figures kind of walking not like a horror movie but just like two people so far away that i couldn't really tell but when she looked back again she's just like oh that's a cop i'm like what oh sh oh no oh no she's just like calm down calm down i got this she was uh, she was the best at getting out of situations like this she was better than ricky from trailer park boys reference number three so we get all the way to the let's stop the madness bridge from another story of when i left school and the cops were looking for me great great story that was that was probably one of the best on my channel we get about to the bridge and we're like, you know what? We really don't have a lot of options here. She actually had to go to school and she was very late at this point. So we're like, all right, let's just admit defeat, turn around and just head towards the shadowy figures. So we turn around and they're like pretty, pretty close to us at this point. Like they, they, they picked up speed. They turned it up a notch because they realized it was us. 
And then I realized it's not just a police officer, it's my dad too. How, how much worse could this get? So we walk up there and the dude's just like, hey, we've been looking for you. You left school. You can't be doing that. They called my dad. He had to leave work to come and get me. And they couldn't figure out where I was. They saw us on the, saw me on the camera going across the street and walking down the path. So I'm sitting there just like freaked out. My dad's giving me the disappointment look. Like, I can't believe you. You made me leave work for this. What the hell? And like my friend there is like trying to like talk, talk her way out of it. Like, hey, I haven't even gone to school yet. Okay, I'm just getting in. And she was a little bit older, so the cop believed her. So that worked out for her. The conversation kind of leaded to me like, hey, what are you doing, dude? You came to school. We saw you blazing. You, you went to school. You, you left again after refusing search. Like, what do you think you're doing? And I'm sitting there like, listen, I'm just having a good day. All right. I think I said something stupid like that. My dad's just like, and we get all the way back to the tree stump spot that I cannot even describe to you how awkward this walk was. We, there wasn't a lot of words exchanged other than my friend trying to just like, you know, break the ice and just be like, yeah, we're just going for a walk, you know, just before school, smoking a cigarette and all that. It didn't, it didn't change anything whatsoever. Didn't change anything. So we get all the way back to the tree stump spot. My dad's truck is parked like horizontally right next to the stump. I'd never seen anybody park there in my life. And behind the and behind his truck was like three cop cars. It was terrible. The scene was terrible. Like at this point, I don't even think I was blasted anymore. The adrenaline running through my body just, just negated it completely. I was just completely just freaked out at this point. Still have the bag in my pocket. Keep that in mind. That is what is on my mind the entire walk back. Like, oh my God, I'm going to get searched. This is terrible. I'm going to get arrested. I think this was shortly after one of my previous stories where my buddy got caught with a little bit of res and a screen in his backpack and he got probation. So I'm thinking, oh, here we go. I'm going to get probation and a court date today. This is it. As soon as we got back to my dad's truck, I just hopped in the truck and just closed the door. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm safe now. I'm safe now. Right. And then my dad just starts talking to the cops. And I could see him get visibly frustrated. I don't know what it's about. The cops kind of giving him the, you know, the, the hands explaining situation. And he's just like, oh, whatever. And he gets back into the truck, closes the door. And he's like, you know, I'm real disappointed with you today, but you're pretty lucky at the same time. And I look at him like, what? And he's just like, listen, because you were in such a big group of kids, they couldn't single any of you guys out and search you. And I'm like, I won the lottery. Hell yeah, dude. It couldn't have worked out any better than this. This is great. And then we went home and he's like, I'm taking the router. Okay, you're not playing Halo 3. All right, you're not. You're not going to sit there and play Halo 3 all night. You remember this? You remember this game? What a fantastic game, huh? I remember I just got like a level 40 in Lone Wolves and got the lieutenant rank for getting the, the rank up points. Those were some good days. I feel so bad for any of you guys that did get to experience that. I think there actually is some like Halo 3 online mod that just came out, but look into it, all right? I'm, I'm also gonna look into it. I stole one of my dad's old Xboxes. I'm gonna try to do it myself. So that was the story where the freshmen got away. They got away scotch-free. I didn't. I definitely got suspended from school for this. Refusing search was just about as worse as it could get. Like, th there was times where I refused search and the, the principal was like, you're working on getting expelled, buddy. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm leaving. Not advised whatsoever to bring any sacred skunk to school, get blasted at school. It is never a good idea. Keep in mind, this was long before I'm an old man over here. All right, listen. This was long before the day of the carts. They didn't exist when I was in school. I guarantee if they were in school, every kid would have had one. All right. This is, it would have been a, it would have been an epidemic in my high school. Every time we'd go into a bathroom, it was just like really old school e-cigs. That's where they, it wasn't vapes when I was in school. It was e-cigs and chewing tobacco. There'd be dip all over every stall. You go in there, you hear the you know, where they're flicking the can and everything. I almost guarantee that every bathroom in the school would have just smelled like straight cart, just cart night. So don't be a jabroni like me and end up in one of these situations. 
Maybe the advice of the day is to follow the freshmen. Follow the paranoid freshmen, because they they know they know how to not get in trouble, huh? I cannot believe they all got got away with it. We got stuck with their stuff, man. Can't, I can't tell you how pa just paranoid I was sitting in that freaking office, and I'm like, oh no. When I had my hand on the bag, I was like, oh god. I was the only one with anything, and here I am alone. They saved me for last. Oh, terrible, terrible feeling. So don't be a jabroni like me. Leave a like on the video for a free, 100% free, crate of bananas delivered to your doorstep in three to 5,000 business days. Completely not a scam, guaranteed. Thank you to everybody on screen right now for supporting me on Patreon. There is a 150 plus, plus videos that you can have access to for a dollar or two a month. You can support the channel and get access to those videos where it's me blazing, all right? Question and answer, looking at bud picks submitted to, from you guys. It's a whole lot of fun, man. Check it out. Your support really helps me out, and I can't thank you guys enough. Shout out to everybody on screen, man. I really do appreciate your support. The support on Patreon has definitely helped me achieve some of the dreams that I thought would never come true, all right? I always worked towards it every day of my life to try to get a house, but it's, it's freaking weird to be in a house. It really is. It, it, it's, it still hasn't completely 100% hit me. It still kind of feels like I'm just living in an Airbnb and I got to give it back in two weeks or something. It's, it's just now kind of hitting me at this point. All right, let's put the green screen down. I mean, I'm totally in the Halo 3 menu. All right, listen, this is where I live. Uh, welcome to my house. I still have yet to set up the apathy flag behind me. I'm going to get to it, all right? I'm going to get to it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any stories of leaving school or getting caught. Because I, I definitely know there's a couple of you in the comments that have stories like this. Looking forward to reading your comments. I read most of the comments. I try to reply to as many as I can. Um, if I don't reply to everyone, I'll just give it like a heart or something. I love reading your guys' comments. It makes my day. Thank you for spending the time out of your day to watch my video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Peace.